parents, you've probably heard of this. It's called unicorn hair. The brightly colored hairstyle is huge with tweens and teenagers. Yeah, you may not want to hear of this because that means your kid probably wants one of these hairdos. One Florida mom recently took a lot of flack for letting her six-year-old sport the multicolored look, probably because of the age, of course. So what do you do if your child comes home and says, hey, mom, dad, I want unicorn hair? News Channel A's Meredith Sinsulu is all over this trend. Hey, Mayor. One little girl doesn't want teal hair, but these are the questions that can keep parents up at night, balancing what your child wants with what you think is best. And the answer may come through simply asking the right questions. Unicorn hair is a popular trend among girls. There are dozens of tutorials on YouTube. Enjoy the tutorial. Okay. Florida hairstylist Mary Thomaston, who colors clients' hair in bright colors, was inundated with haters and supporters after posting photos of her six-year-old daughter on Instagram with multicolored hair that was dyed with the semi-permanent color. While Thomaston was happy to indulge her daughter, other parents are freaked out by their kid having rainbow-colored hair. Child psychologist Dr. Steve O'Brien says how you respond to your kids' request to express their creativity can have a lasting impact on your relationship with them. You miss an opportunity to learn more about your kid if you simply come right out with those no's. Dr. O'Brien says even if the idea of blue, pink, or green hair makes you cringe, you should take the opportunity to understand your child's motivations. How did you get that idea? And what do you think would be good about that? Who else have you talked to about this? Do you know other people that are doing this? So you want to have a kind of conversation where the kid doesn't sense that you're judging them negatively. If you decide you're cool with allowing your kid to be a little out there with their hair or fashion, be sure to prepare them for all scenarios, the positive and negative reactions they may get. Some people may like what you did, but some people may not. Let's talk about what some people may say and what you can do about it when they say that. All right, so the bottom line from Dr. O'Brien, obviously if something impairs health, safety, or education, it's probably not a good idea. But here's the key. Always take the opportunity to have a talk with your child about their motivations. In the long run, your relationship will be better off. So maybe don't say no. Because then they're right. going to want to do it even more. Right. <laughs> yeah, but maybe say, why do you want to do this? Yeah. Talk to me a little bit more about and, that. And have them understand that people are going to look at you. People might snicker or say things. Or are you going to deal with that? Yeah. Your school might not even allow this. And the mom did check with her kids' okay. school yeah. first, and they were okay with it. But it's still hey. ultimately, it's the decision of the parent. Well, Lee and I were going to go both blue. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, if you need to support your team, why not, right, Lee? Exactly.